Now the next growth model or growth curve that we have to discuss. I have told you there are two main types of the growth curves or growth models that you can find out in the population ecology. One we have already discussed that is the J curve or the J growth strategy. Now we have the logistic growth or sigmoid growth model, which is called as the S model. And the reason of called this model S is because the pattern it will make is kind of S here. This kind of S structure you can see in the logistic growth or sigmoid growth curve. Let me show you the graph as well. This is the sigmoid growth or the S curve you can see here. Now the growth of population would be like this, not like this. This is for the J curve. So this is not J curve. This is the sigmoid curve or S curve. So this would be the S curve model. This is the J curve model. The J curve already we have discussed. Right now we have to move ahead to the S curve or logistic growth model. Logistic population growth will occur when population numbers begin to approach a finite carrying capacity. Here you can see in the graph as well. The population is reaching to a kind of fixed level and the population is not going to increase more than this. So this is termed as K. What is the meaning of K? K is the carrying capacity here. It means the environment or the ecology cannot sustain more than this number of individuals. This is the maximum number of individuals that can take place in any particular kind of environment. That would be your K or carrying capacity. So in the J saved, there is no such limit. This can go as high up as up to. But in the sigmoid curve, there is a limit in the number of population. That is what the first line is saying. The carrying capacity is the maximum number of species that can be sustainably supported by the environment at a particular time. As a population approaches the carrying capacity, environmental resistance occurs, slowing the rate of growth, and then there would be ultimately no growth at all. And this will create a sigmoidal curve or s saved growth curve that plateaus at the carrying capacity denoted by A. Here you can see this is the sigmoid curve. And this will plate you here at this particular point, which is the K point or the carrying capacity point. Then logistic growth will eventually be seen any stable population occupying a fixed geographic space. So this is more kind of realistic approach to see the growth rate. And here in the some questions in the catalyst, you can see Sometimes in the examination, this value is asked. This value is maximum sustainable yield value, which is also rendered as MSY value. And the maximum sustainable yield is always half of the carrying capacity. So half of the carrying capacity means K divided by 2. So this is equal to the maximum sustainable yield. The formula which is used in the logistic growth or sigmoid growth, that is the S curve, you can see here, Dn divided by dt. It means what would be the change in number of individuals in t time is equals to Rn, which you have seen in the growth curve, the j saved growth curve. This term was already present there. Let me show you. You can see here. This is Dn by dt, Rn. This is the same term which is used in the sigmoid but in the place of the Rn, now in this particular right hand side, another term would be introduced here that you have to just look at in this sigmoid curve. That term is k minus n divided by k. So this new term is introduced here. This term is called as environmental resistance or environment resistance. So environment is resisting the number of individuals now. So it cannot sustain more than this number of individuals. So this term is only you can find out in the S curve or sigmoid curve. Now, if I take this K minus N divided by K, this I can write like this K minus K minus N minus K. So this K minus K is cancelled and this can be replaced by 1. So this is, is equals to what 1 minus N divided by K. So 1 minus N divided by K I have replaced here. So both the terms are same here and the, both the terms are known as the environment resistance here. And K here is the carrying capacity in this particular environment for this particular species. Suppose in this particular formula, if 
n is equals to k. So n is equals to k means both would be equal and this and this going to be cancelled. This would be equals to 1 minus 1. In the bracket, 1 minus 1 is equals to 0. And whatever is multiplied by the 0, that is also 0. So dn by dt is equals to 0. It means there would be no growth that takes place. Now, what is the meaning of n is equals to k? It means the number of individuals have already reached to the carrying capacity. So if number of individuals are equals to the carrying capacity, it means there would be no growth takes place. dn by dt is equals to 0 on such scenario. So this is the main thing about this particular formula of logistic growth or sigmoid growth or S curve growth rate. This is called as the logistic growth rate. So I hope this is clear to you all. Both the growth models we have completed now, J saved as well as the S shaped, exponential and logistic growth models. Now let's look at the numerical questions asked from this particular section from the both Besides J curve as well as S curve models. The very first question here you can see it is saying that 5.3 billion. 5.3 billion means how much? 5.3 multiplied by 10 to the power 9. Billion means 10 to the power 9 because million means 10 to the power 6. So and the difference between a billion and trillion is of thousand or 10 to the power 3. So 10 to the power 3, you have to add more. So 5.3 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 is the billion. So these the number of people are living in a country. The average birth rate of the country is 23. So again, remember what I have told you. Whenever there would be birth rate, it means it is in per thousand value. So here this would be 23 divided by thousand. And the infant mortality rate or death rate is 53. It means it is 53 divided by 1000. So I hope this is clear to you all. Calculate the death due to the infant mortality. So there are total numbers of the individuals 5.3 multiplied by 10 to the power 9. How many of these population are giving birth? So out of the 1000, every 23 is giving birth. So 5.3 billion 10 to the power 9. This is multiplied by 23 divided by 1000. This would be the total birth number in a particular year. Then the total infant mortality. So out of these total number 5.3 10 to the power 9 multiplied by 23 divided by 1000. Out of these total population, every 53 is dying out of 1000. So how many would be the left population here? So that would be again multiplied with this. So that would be 5.3 multiplied by 10 to the power 9. That is 5.3 billion multiplied by 23 multi divided by 1000, which is equals to birth rate. Now, if you multiply the death rate with it, so you will get the number of individuals which are dying due to the infant mortality. So that is again multiplied here, 53 divided by 1000. So the total infant mortality you will get is so 10 to the power 9, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 6 is gone. So here 3 would be left. So 3 would be left. So 1 is given to this 53. So that is 53 multiplied by 23. So this would be now 2. Again multiplied by 53. And 10 to the power 2 is 100. Because out of the 10 to the power 3, 1, 0 is given to this 5.3. So that, that's why this is 53. So if you multiply all these, you will get the total infant mortality number, which is equals to 6.4 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 mortality per year. So this can be write, uh, can be written as 6.4 million mortality death per year. So this is the very simple question, the simplest question of the population ecology that you can solve. So I hope this is clear to you all. So if this is clear to you all, let's move ahead to the next question. That is, due to the exponential growth of a population of 5 million, the population reached to 15 million in the 50 years time period. Calculate the growth rate R. So NT is provided to you. NT is what? The new population. New population is provided to you. That is 15 million. The N naught, the previous, the zero time population, you can say that is also provided to you. That is how much? That is 5 million. 
Now multiply it by e to the power r t. I have told you you have to use the normal population formula always, growth rate formula always whenever there is no such situation of doubling. So here you can see five million to directly fifteen million. This is not five million to ten million. Do not use the formula of rule of seventy or do not use the formula of that amoeba and all. This would be only for true the normal growth formula that is n t is equals to n not e to the power r two. E is the Exponential, so exponential is the mathematical term. The value of that is not provided here. R R is the growth rate, and growth rate is asked here in the question. What is the growth rate R? Time period T is provided to you. That is fifty years. Now put the value of all these things here. And T is the fifteen million. So I can write down fifteen million like this, or I can write down like this as well. Fifteen multiplied by ten to the power six. Is equals to n naught. N naught is the initial population. Initial population is the five million. So I can write down like this, or I can write down like this as well. Ten to the power six multiplied by exponential. Exponential to the power r, and r multiplied by t. That is the fifty here. So here this ten to the power six. Ten to the power six got cancelled, or this million million I can cancel. Fifteen divided by five. Five will come to the denominator of this fifteen. So this would be 15 divided by 5. So 5 three is a 15. That is 3 is equals to e to the power r multiplied by 50. Now there is a rule here that you have to follow. If suppose a is equals to e to the power x, so this would be x is equals to natural log ln a. This is how the exponential is solved. If you want to solve the exponential. You have to send this exponential to the other side, and the exponential would be converted into natural log. Natural log, or you can say ln in the short form. The natural log can be written as ln here. The same thing I have used here. I have transferred this e to the left hand side. So this would be now ln three, and in this side there is only two terms left. That is r multiplied by fifty, and this will come as a normal term, not in power. So r multiplied by fifty is equals to ln three here, or natural log three here. So remember this formula. Whenever there would be exponential, you can find out if you want to solve it. Just transfer it to another side, and in the place place of exponential, you can write down natural log or ln. Now, how to solve the ln or natural log? So natural log of x is equals to 2.303, which is a constant, and this is multiplied by 10 base log of x. Because we don't know the value of natural log, or we don't have the table of the natural log, the log values you have remembered, right? Log 2 is equal to 0.303 is equal to 0.47. Log 4 is equal to 0.60. All those values are For the ten based log, these all were values of the log ten. So that's why you have to convert this natural log into this particular term of log ten x. So to convert it, there is a constant used. That constant is two point three zero three here. So the r is equals to. You have to solve this ln three. Ln three. What I can write down in the place of the natural log three? I can write down two point three zero three multiplied by log ten based three. So log 10 base 3 value we know that is log 477. So I can put this log 10 3 value here in the formula. So r is equals to 2.303. This one multiplied by log 10 3. Log 10 3 value we already know that is 0.477. So I am putting the value here and divided by this 50 will go to the other side in the denominator divided by 50. So if you multiply 2.303 to the 0.477. This would be nearly equal to one, approximately one. So one divided by fifty is equals to zero point zero two, or this can be written as two percent as well by just multiplying hundred in it. So this is how you can calculate the growth rate for any particular numerical problem. The two formulas you have to remember here. One is this one. You can replace the exponential with the natural log value on the other side. And to solve the natural log value, you have to use a constant that is two point three zero three and multiply by the 
log 10 based any x value and that you can remember with the help of table. We have already remembered the values up to log 10 in the previous classes. So if you haven't seen the previous classes video, you can see that or you can directly search the log 10 based, 10 based values as well. 0 0.30, 0, then we have the 0 0.47, 0 0.60. So that we go on, go on 0 0.69 we have, then 0 0.75, 0 0.85 around, 0 0.95 around, and then ultimately log 10 is equals to 1. So this is the log values you have to remember, then only you can solve this particular type of question. So I hope this is clear to you.